John Luke! What? Where's he at? He's upstairs. What's wrong? My truck is totally out of gas. Oh, no. John Luke doesn't seem to realize that driving my truck ain't a right. It's a privilege. And that privilege can be revoked. Did you forget anything last night? Have you ever heard of gas? Yeah. Because if I would have stopped, I would have been late. Then I would have gotten in trouble. Don't worry about getting in trouble there. Worry about my truck having fuel in it. Now we're all screwed. You're in trouble, and I'm taking your car. Oh, wait, no, no, you can't take my car. Today. I have to take your car. Willie, really, I'll take you to work. I'll Fine. run you up there. You're going to go get gas, however you want to get it, on a bike, phone a friend, do what you got to do. Get fuel in my truck. Yes, sir. All right. If Mom's taking you, then after I get gas, can I take your truck to the movies? No. You just brought it back empty. I just told you that. I'm really starting to think John Luke doesn't understand the whole parent-kid dynamic. I make the rules, you follow them. That's it. Get out of here. Go upstairs. Yes, ma'am. I think we may need to get that boy's head checked. John Luke's deal is. I mean, does he not get it? I'm done. with you on Should've that. just called. Hey, I'm about to run out of gas. I may be late. I should I get I'm gas or should I just roll it in on fumes? Willie, this would all be solved if you just got him his own vehicle. I'm not just going to give him everything in life. He needs to earn it. The boy doesn't need to learn responsibility. The boy needs a swift kick in his butt. Well, he's not taking my car. He's going to keep driving yours if you're not getting him a vehicle. I think he needs his own vehicle. Parenting is a constant struggle between making your kid's life better and ruining your own. I hate rewarding John Luke for doing something stupid, but why should I have to suffer? I mean, he needs to learn responsibility. He needs to run out of gas in his own darn vehicle. You're so right. Good idea, babe. Glad I thought of that for you. This may be my best idea ever. Can I have a cookie, sir? What you got to trade for it? You got a half-eaten sandwich? No, no. I got the gold right here, sir. Look what I got. Ooh. How about a little? Hey, I'll make a trade for you. Oh, no, you want bag, to trade. Bag of chips. <laughs> bag of chips? Yeah, I mean, not chips. Chocolate chips, cookies. Let me see. Let me have that. <laughs> that ain't really a trade. Hey, he he wasn't going to trade. Cupcakes is one of my favorite desserts, especially those with the little squirrely squirrels on top of them. Hey, look, I know we're family boys, but hey, well, I might kill for a cupcake. All right. Ooh, it's Joker's milk. Why well, ain't this embarrassing? You get him huh. chauffeured around by his wife. Oh, wasn't that sweet? The CEO's out here cadoodling in the parking lot. They fixed to make me throw up, boys. I'm trying to eat my cupcake here. Have a good day. <laughs> Love you. Back in my day, if we wanted to make out, you know, we'd go to the ice cream parlor. You know, if you got hungry, you could order a burger and fries, and hey, for dessert, hey, You'd have a banana split, man. Those were the days, Jack. What about What's it, up, Will? Willie? What's happening? Why is Corey chauffeuring you around today? My son continues to bring my truck back on less than E. Out of gas. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about buying him a vehicle. You better buy him just some beat up piece of junk. Hey, right, you need to get one just like that truck of mine there. That's what I just said, Ty. Piece of junk. Where I come from, your truck is a reflection of your personality. Sai is a perfect example of this. You look at his truck. It's old, it's gray, it spits, sputters, blows smoke out of the tailpipe. It's it's just like Sai. Hey, that thing purrs like a kitten. <laughs> purrs like a kitten? Yeah. Yeah, hey, that purrs like a walrus in a steel trap. <laughs> you boys bad mouthing my truck. Hey, I'll do you a favor. Me and that truck y'all bad mouthing, I'll drive you around and we'll find you son of a truck. Hey, seeing how I'm a resident expert on vehicles in this group, I think I should help old Willie out. Hey, plus I won't have to work. Considering I don't have a vehicle, I'm gonna take this opportunity. Y'all get back to work. Good luck, Will. You better put your seatbelt on. Let's pick up John Luke. Hey. 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 Look out. They won't make it five miles. I'll tell you this. 
If they're gonna take the day off, I'm gonna take the day off. And I'm gonna go catch some crawfish. Go crawfish. Go crawfish. Guys, you get some air in that truck. That's a classic, son. This is it, huh? The best thing I know to do is to buy a car from someone that you know who's not gonna try to fast talk you. Hey, Willie. What do you say, Mountain Man? There is nothing fast about Mountain Man. How y'all doing on this fine day? We're here to look at this Bronco for John Luke. It's a 1990 model. Uh, looky here. You got this bumper guard on here. And John Luke, he can mow over deers or whatever kids do nowadays. He ain't mowing over deer. You got your road kid. I'm really not sure about <laughs> this anymore. <laughs> What's it going to take me to get you in this truck today? I'll give you $2,000 right now in cash. Oh, That's well, cash money. A lot of sentimental value in here. Sentimental? Hey, sentimental don't pay the bills, Mountain Man. Well, I had my first date in this thing. Oh, Ethelene Shrum, we went up. Hey, we ain't got time to hear the story of your sex life. It was a beautiful thing. I'm sure it's a great story. I'll give you $2,100, $100 for your sentimental loss, and we can do this deal right now. Mm -hmm. Hunter, Mountain Man. Cash, Benjamin uh, Franklin. Mm -hmm. Cash, son. No, I don't know about that, Willie. I might have come down to about five thousand. Oh, bull crap! I ain't giving you five thousand dollars. Come on, look here. I got, I got a treasure chest. I'll take you to. I know Willie. Okay, he's looking for a deal because he's a cheapskate. Hey, man's got everything. So hey, I'm gonna take him to a junkyard. Hey, he's got trucks, jeeps, chairs. Pool tables, cars, mattresses, RVs, potato salad, cold watermelon. He's got anything you want, Jack. Hey, sack of oranges. Johnny, like, come on. I didn't like that piece of trash anyway. Is that all the crawfish traps we got? What are you up to? I'm going crawfishing. Did you ask your daddy if you could use the boat? No. Why would he care, Okay, It's old. Well, just because it's old, it still has value to it. My parents were hoarders before hoarding was cool. Well, you know, it's still valuable to feel, even if it's old. I mean, they just can't throw anything away. And the older something is, the less bad you feel about using it. You better make sure it's OK. Well, if we bring Phil back a big mess of crawfish, he'll never say a word. Oh, he'll be happy, happy, happy. Yeah, he'll like that. Just don't tear up anything doing it. Well, if I tear it up, I'll replace it. I mean, that's just the code among rednecks. Look, anything tore up, I have nothing to do with it. All right, All right thanks okay. for the Let's warning. Go. Let's get out of here. I'm driving. You in the middle? No, I ain't in the middle. You're dead, gum. I'm claustrophobic. Well, how do you think I feel? This is just a big Martin sandwich. Si, it's a junkie. Hey, look here. This is a gold mine. Y'all, we'll find John Luke a good little pickup truck in here. Where in the heck am I? Did Si take me down the wormhole? They don't even have motors. Look, one man's junk is another man's treasure. No, son. this is every man's junk. All this is junk. Apparently, my definition of a gold mine and size differ drastically. There's a rooster in that truck. Hey, look here. You like chicken salad? We already ahead on this deal. Hey, look here. Haven't you ever heard the term? Winner, winner, chicken dinner? There's not even a truck here to run. Oh, hey, that one right there's got good legs left on it. Tires are good. John Luke, you done hit the jackpot. This baby's got a five speed. Hey, look here. 383. Si, there's grass growing out of it. Hello? Environmental. Gone green. Willie's mine is like a steel trap. It's closed. For mine, on the other hand, OK, it's wide open. It's like an air tunnel in here, man. How are you gentlemen today? I'm Squirrel. Squirrel. Uh, y'all looking uh. for y'all nice little vehicle? We're yeah. not, we're, no, we're, we're just, we're, I don't know what we're doing. Well, okay, what do you want for this thing? 2,500. Squirrel? <laughs> 2,500. Look, you're a little on the squirrely side. If you think I'm going to give you $2,500 for it? Yeah, but look, look what you did. Hey, get. I'll give you 1,000 for it. 1,000? I probably got more than 1,000 in that thing. Hey. Gentlemen, your turn. Am I in a bad dream here? What is going on? 
Oh, We're not green. interested in this piece of crap. It's got stuff growing in it. This is worse than I thought. I mean, I'm in the junkyard twilight zone with size evil twin, Squirrel. I swear I gotta start dealing with people with a real first name. John Luke would be proud to ride around in a truck like this. All right, we're good. Um, nice rig. Somebody to buy it. Squirrel, thank you for Y'all take care. Yeah, uh, if nothing else, see you again. it'd be good for scrap metal. John Luke, that's why you don't do drugs, son. Woo, what a day for this. What a day. These are the days you live for. Unless y'all want to go back up there and work. No, I'm good. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Right. No. no, this is way better than work. Because you wake up in the morning, go into a concrete bunker, and then all of a sudden, freedom. Uh-oh, flat tire, lost the shoe. Hold on, I lost my shoe. Easy. Ow, I got a rock in my shoe. <laughs> Hold on, let me climb in this thing. All right. Oh. Whoa. Look out. Whoa! I think we got a little leak here. Look, I see where the water's coming oh. from. Start paddling toward the bank. Don't oh, worry. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. What we got? Whoa! Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Any floating vessel can sink. Wow! Oh, God. Good grief! I think the Titanic proved that. Oh, that was a fish. Hey, I'm on the motor. Now the difference in us and the Titanic was I brought two icebergs with me. Well, we ain't going crawl fishing. No. Where's the new dog? Oh, uh, that yipping thing. <whistles> no, you have to do it like this. Muffin! Muffin! Is that her, is that her yeah, name? Yeah, you have to call her just like that. Muffin! That dog ain't good for nothing except eating everything in sight. Miss Kay is a dog lover, so am I. They're pretty good, first line of defense. If they bark at another dog, you can tell the bark they have and make them shut up. If they're just barking because they're happy to be a dog and living in America, I, I know what that bark is, too. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Uh-oh. Where have you been? Boy, y'all worked up a big sweat doing something. The last thing that I want to hear is what I'm fixing to hear. The I told you so from my mom, and I'm gonna get the what are you thinking from my dad. No, oh, we went out there uh, enjoying the day. We was gonna get some crawfish. Where are they at? I'm hungry for a good mess of crawfish. Well, we took that boat you had out there. Yeah. And uh, one of these boys forgot to put the plug in it. Do what? We buried that boat and the motor and all the gear. What did I tell you about you tearing up things? We didn't tear it up, we sunk it. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. It's just at the bottom. Y'all been riding in boats your whole life. I mean, I can't believe you sunk it right there where you're talking about. When something crazy happens, my dad then feels like he needs to give you a lecture on why the plug is important to the boat. And you gotta sit there and listen because you sunk it. And it's his boat. Y'all didn't even check to see if there's a plug in the boat? No. Oh, good night of living. Chase. This would be like giving me the birds and bees speech for my 20 year anniversary. I got that. I have three kids. I figured it out. What do they sound like right now? They sound now? like city slickers to me. I mean, you know, good night. You take a boat and you shove it off and get in it without a plug in it, and you got two 375 pounders with you. It's like a house cat who gets his tail caught in a fan. It won't be long now. Well, did I own anything that was in the boat? You owned everything in the boat. It had all my snacks in it. Boat, motor, mm -hmm. snacks, mm -hmm. anything else. My hands smell like taco meat. What? What did he say? Well, I tell you what, we're going back down on that hole. This time it's going to be we. I'm going with y'all. It's time to get swampy again. This is John Luke's ride right here. No, it's not. This is the ride for a young man of his stature. Well, he needs to get John Luke a vehicle that will really turn heads. You need to get your hot rod, John Luke. Sal, si, we're not getting a fast car that burns up the road. Well, what are we doing here then? This thing needs to be, you know, souped up. He ain't looking for no family car. Well, he ain't buying it. I'm buying it. Well, buy him a hot rod. You know, purple fringe tail lights. 
30-inch fins. Hey, I'm talking about a hot rod, Jack. Hey, now there's something more like it, Will, right there for you. That's a good-looking little car. Yeah, this one's not bad. You can't have this car. Why not? Where are you going to put a deer? Hey, put him on the hood. Look here, spread his legs, tie him to the mirrors. That'll work. And then drive through the middle of town, honking your horn, talking, hey, look, yo, look what I just killed. Sometimes I worry about the influence Cy has on my children. The last thing the world needs is another tall tale telling teetoting, narcoleptic redneck. There's a nice truck. Does that need a bad look at truck here? How y'all doing? How's it going? Hey. Doing fine. How you doing, young fella? You good. How can I help y'all? We're just looking, possibly gonna buy, not sure. Y'all came up in here in that thing? Wait a minute now. Hey, what do you mean that thing? Maybe I can upgrade you while you're here. Well, how much is that yellow car in the corner? Si, you ain't what? buying a car. We're to buy John Luke a truck. When you run up on a good deal, you got to pounce like a big bingo tiger. Ah. Does it got air conditioning? They all have AC. This is really? Louisiana, yes. Got a lot of features to it. Power windows, locks, tilt, cruise, CD player. It's pretty wild. It's only $99.95. I don't think this truck's worth $99.95. Got one a couple years old, a few more miles. It's blue in color. How much is it? $69.95. I like blue. Y'all want to go look at it? Let's go. Let's go have a look hey, at man, it. Hey, man, you'll like it. I've always liked blue. You sure is tied on to the boat? I did the best I could. I was up under the water. You ain't got nothing there. Well, good night. I can pull this out, whatever this is. Yeah, it ain't the boat. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Starting over. The creeks and rivers where we hang out, the visibility is about one centimeter. <laughs> hey, you want to come do this? Nope. Ha ha. You hooked up on a log. Well, I thought it was the boat. Come on out of there with it, Jace. You got it tied? Oh, I got it tied this time. To the boat? To the boat. Hit it. Come on out of there with it. Gobble. Come on, Gobble. Gobble. get out of there with it. Here we go. Hey, I, see I see the I see the strap. Oh, there's the boat. Hey, all right. Now we cook them with peanut oil. Merry Christmas. Here's your boat. Here's your crappy motor. All your traps, your net. Can we go now? <laughs> Whew. Where's my drag? Let me see. Where's my drag? I'm looking. It was right here. My drag, it's gone. Huh? It's somewhere in between here and there. Got to find that. It's just a piece of metal. It's worth more than that whole contraption, I'll tell you that. I've had that drag for 25 years. I've dragged up many hoop net with that. Got to have it. Are you serious? Yeah. All right, I'll get it. Where's my drag? So how exactly did y'all manage to sink the entire boat? Godwin didn't put the plug in the boat. That was, it wasn't funny. We could have died. They were acting like yuppie boys. How is that acting like a yuppie boy that I wanted to go catch some crawfish? Trying to crank a motor that hadn't been cranked in five years without a plug in the boat. I didn't know the motor Two walruses been... in one end of the boat, yuppies all the way. Yeah, this whole bunch, after watching this fiasco, their redneck edge is beginning to slowly morph into yuppieism. If y'all would just throw some of this stuff away instead of keeping it as antiques, this wouldn't have happened. Some old things become more valuable as they get older, don't you know? Like myself. See, these younger bucks, all they do is tear up stuff. They never build anything. Who is well, that? Who in the world is that? Oh, my goodness, That'd be John your grandson. Lee. John Luke. And Si. John Luke, you got you John some new Mm-hmm. Finally. Pretty good looking rig. That's awesome. Good job, Daddy. So I got a new truck as well. This is a deal I couldn't pass up. We're happy, happy, happy. Hey, that's it. Si, what'd you do with your old truck? I thought the gray ghost was your baby. Hey, look here. All good things must come to an end, Martin. I'm gonna put it to rest. Selling it would be undignified. What are you gonna do, bury it? Huh? Something special, probably bury it. Just being a military man, have somebody play towns. Well, I think we can do better than that. All right, boys, let's send her off with a bang.
Knowing you, Grey Ghost. I'll give you two hundred dollars right now for it. So, oh. <laughs> hey, that was the best thing that truck ever did was blow up. Hey, that was hey, a good truck. Let's go eat. Hey, man. Hey, hey, let's, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Good, 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 good move, Kate. Say la vie, Grey Ghost. That's the way to end the day with a bang. Father, we thank you for another good day on planet Earth. I do pray for old John Luke, Father, and his driving skills. Thank you for all the blessings you give us each day. Amen. 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 Let's get on them quick. Give me some of those birds. Some days you wake up and you just know that it's going to be a good day. And some days you find yourself spending thousands of dollars on a truck for your son. Life is full of detours, especially when you were south, or a couple of 300 pounders in a teeny tiny boat. The key is to not get discouraged thinking of all the wrong turns you made. You just have to keep on keeping on. How about going cruising for some ladies after dinner there, John Luke? Vroom, vroom. I think I'm gonna get one of these there. Uh, that's what I need. Put right that there. up, dude. You don't need that. Hey, I do need this. Jace, put it up. If you had to have one weapon in the woods, what would you go with? One weapon? One weapon. What, a ninja throwing star? Ninja throwing star. Why am I not surprised? Willie has this obsession with ninjas. You don't have the body type for a leotard. I think there's a weight limit on ninjas. When he takes off running, he looks like two possums fighting over a dead squirrel in a tow sack. You couldn't even get in a ninja suit. Real ninjas are, have all kind of different body weights. I think he's more like a sumo wrestler than a ninja. Have you ever seen Enter the Ninja? No. Oh, no. Philip McMillan. What? What's going on, duck boys? Jace? What about it, Dimples? Dude, nobody calls me Dimples anymore. Really? Because I just did. Jace and I have known Philip McMillan since high school. He's the guy who thinks he is the best at everything. When you're 21 and still in high school, yeah, you're pretty good at stuff. How's the duck business going? It's going great. How's the whatever you do? This is what you're into now? Riding lawnmowers in town? This is just my ride around mower. My racing rig is what I'm really proud of. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I hate lawnmowers. Let's get rid of them all. The world would be a better place. If you combine the time you waste cutting grass with the time you waste shaving your face, we'd be going to Venus, you know, and we could be doing whatever. You ever won any of these races? Yeah, I win them all. If you boys are interested, y'all might want to meet me up there for a little race on Saturday night. Are you challenging me? If y'all could put something together. You can talk any redneck into a challenge. I'll beat the crap out of you in the lawnmower. That's why so many rednecks die in such strange ways. Because he would rather be dead than disrespected. Well, get all your boys together, fix up whatever you want, and let's get it on. I just might have to do that. I'll be waiting. Put a darn shirt on, dude. See you at the races. Yeah, I hit him right in the forehead with a throwing star. <laughs> I was thinking. Stop what you're doing. Hey, I'm about to ruin. Hot sigh. Hey, stop what you're doing, because I'm about to ruin the image and the sound you're used to. Look here. I love that Humpty song. Stop cramping my style, man. Hey, forget the duck calls. Mm-hmm. This is serious, boys. Look, here's the deal. We've been challenged. Who challenged us? Philip McMillan. Uh, uh, yeah. Needless to say, I can't stand the guy. Who can? Hey, he stole my favorite hat one time, and I got a sunburn on my head. He made fun of my beard. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, you never insult a man's beard. You think you get either thunder or lightning. Either one. Where'd you see him at? At the hardware store. 
riding his lawnmower. I ain't never seen him on nothing else. He challenged us to a race. A race? What, racing lawnmowers? A lawnmower race. What are we gonna do, who, see who can cut the most grass? No, sir, a race. We get in a line and we race, and whoever's the fastest wins. So here's what I need you to do. We're gonna have a time trial at my house. Go get your lawnmower, meet me there in two hours. What are we gonna do, mow your grass? Sir! Si. Uh, I don't know what y'all talking about. Bring your lawnmower. No, we're gonna go over and mow his grass. <laughs> All right, girls, today I'm making a duck gumbo for Papa Phil. But you know how you start off making it? You make a roux. You're making kangaroo? It's just called a roux. Well, what's that? That is a sauce. Hey, buddy. The older women teaching the younger women how to cook. Now, that's a good thing there. Isn't that a pretty picture? When you see your grandkids all gather around and Mama's showing them how to cook a roux, I consider that a very positive thing, especially in this culture. What are we what? doing, little chickies? We cooking here? We're making gumbo. If she surprised me with a duck gumbo out of the clear blue, that usually means there's ulterior motives in there somewhere. She's up to something. Whoa! What's in the box, Miss Kate? Oh, that's a little country cottage I got for the girls, but I just need you to put it together. Yep, I, I get it now. Well, suppose I don't put this house together today. Well, suppose I don't serve you this gumbo today. If Miss Kay thinks she's going to get me to do her bidding by cooking me a gumbo, she's got another thing coming there. What is this, though? I don't know. I'll figure it out. What is it? Oh, wow. 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 No, oh, the bottom line is I'm just glad I didn't have a house full of girls. Seems rather nightmarish to me. What is this, Dad? Where does this go? Don't just stand there. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Yeah, put that over there. Ooh, I feel sorry for that poor soul that has to raise them. Glad it didn't happen to me. What in the world? Cuteness and sweetness is good with granddaughters for about, what, a minute or two? Tell them hit the road. Go back in the back room and play dolls or whatever they do. I tell you what, look, go see Miss Kay and then come back and I'll get it fixed. Papa Phil, do you know what you're doing? I'll fix it. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. See you later. Good grief. Look, we're doing a time trial here. We're doing three laps to see who has the best motor best driving skills, and all around best driving demeanor. Now it's on to the time trials. It's time to take these mowers out in the open lawn and clean the pipes out. Does anybody have a lawn mower like post 1995? This thing's about 45 years old, but hey, it'll still run. Hey, this is a 1965 Praying Menace Grasshopper. This one is made for leisurely driving, boys. You know, take it slow and easy. Like the tortoise and the hare, boys. Hey, who won that? You know, it was the cat that took it slow and easy. Hey, it's the praying menace. <laughs> anyway, Jeff, what are you what are you running? It's all I got is a push mower. What kind of race this is it in anyway? <laughs> well, you know, like, I think that team might have turned on you. Let's be honest, this time trial is just for show. I really just wanted the guys to come out and see how good I was on the lawnmower. I think I've got this thing locked down. Whoa. Seriously? What are you doing? We've got our entire Duck Commander workforce sitting in my yard on old lawnmowers. We fixed out a lawnmower race. Time trial. Whatever. I thought y'all were kidding when you were talking about this. Well, I don't kid when somebody challenges my manhood. Hey, he started this war. This is about Philip McMillan, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter if we're throwing rocks, but if he challenged us to who could fly a kite the highest, we'd all be out there with strings, you know? It's about manhood, standing up and being a man. This is what we do. All right, gentlemen, start your engines. Do I feel stupid? Oh, yeah. I'm on a lawnmower in Willie's backyard. 
with other grown men. Would I rather look stupid than disgraced by a redneck? I'll take stupid every day. All right, uh-huh. Between the five of us here, I figure we can get this 10 acres cut, what, 30 minutes? Hey, just praying mantis, smooth cutting. It's like when a woman goes to a beauty parlor, okay? She went in there looking like an old hag, and then she comes out looking like Dolly Parton. Hey, get out of the way. Look out, look out, look out. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Hey, you want a man. Just like I thought, big winner. But my mower definitely needs some more speed. By the time I get through with it, I'm going to demolish Philip McMillan. It's time to get serious. I'm talking Philip McMillan. I'm talking right. Philip McVillan. Right. He's going down. He's going down. Go. Fire! Whoa. That's it. <laughs> Let's get it to the well, warehouse. Let's get out of here. Soup this baby up. I knew I didn't need no directions on something like that. Good night. I figure the granddaughters will be happy, happy, happy when they see the grandpa architectural skills on a playhouse. Yeah, that'll work. Now, that's a fine piece of work right there, if I have to say so myself. What do you think? It doesn't look like the picture. Close enough. No. 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 Boo, you got parts all over there you hadn't even used. I can tell he's tossed the directions one more time, decided to do it all himself, but it's not looking right. What's that? That is where I think you take a leak. Women do not do that. That's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't think they're going to use the commode for anything, so I guess it was there just for decor. What do y'all think, girls? Are you fired up or what? There's not even a window. You want a window? Yeah. What, you right want it right there. here? All right, back out of the way. You want a window? I'll give you a window. A chainsaw in this part of the country is a redneck's best friend. You can take trees down and cut your firewood up, or you can work on grandchildren's playhouses. They are ready to go. Way better. And what else y'all need to do to it? Nothing uh, else. No, no. The standard equipment. I carry one with me all the time. Climb up in there. What do you think? It's cool. <laughs> Let's take it to a duck blind. Duck blind? Now you talking. I'm going to leave on that. I believe you girls are going to turn out just fine. All right, gentlemen, I think you know why we're all here. Why are we here? We're modifying this mower, you idiot. I told y'all. Hmm. Well, how you do that? We're going to beef it up. It's beefed up. You're sitting on it. Do y'all want to make duck calls? Is that what you want to do? No, I don't want to no, make duck calls. No, no, I like a project. Let's go with it. I'm going to take this regular, ordinary lawnmower and turn it into a super beast racing machine. I've done a little research. This is what I want this looking like. Good well, hey, you got night. a picture of it. Why don't we get that one? That belongs to Philip McMillan. That's some pretty good research here. Got off the internet. It was on his status update. So you're friends with him <laughs> on the internet? Not me, but another name. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. There you go now. Stay down. You get a redneck working on a mower, you're going to get something awesome. You put five rednecks on a mower, you're going to get something epic. How else can we drop weight? Although y'all are really not good at dropping weight. Stop. 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 What are you doing? It's all about physics and our dynamics. Just trying to do my part, boys. These boys don't know nothing. And I, I don't know nothing, and I'm the best one there is around this bunch. What are, what are we doing? You said tear it apart, so we're tearing it apart. That doesn't look like the picture. Well, well she's got red up here. He builds racing lawnmower. He does what? Jimmy Red builds racing lawnmowers? Yep. What? Hey, Godwin, I know you're not the smartest pickle in the barrel, but don't you think that would have been pertinent information before we got ourselves in this mess? Does it go fast? Yeah, it goes fast, about 80. Why didn't you open your mouth? I ain't gonna build no duck calls. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Jimmy Red's mower's a whole lot faster than this one, because we ain't losing the Philip McMillan. Here's what we do. 
We're going to put all this back together. We're taking it back. Good luck with that. Hey, we'll do this tomorrow. Ain't that We're racing deal. tomorrow. Hey, we can do it in the morning. I'm serious. Hey. Good luck taking that back. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Y'all push, I'm focusing. Focusing on what, not doing anything? This is it. This is the big time. We got Jimmy Red's mower, and it looks fast as crap. Oh, here we go. Easy. Yeah, thanks for the help. There's no way we're losing. I'm going to beat the crap out of Philip in this lawnmower race. Whoa. They got some serious machinery here, boys. I'm telling you one thing, they don't look like they're kidding around. How hard can it be? When I accepted Phillip's challenge, I didn't realize that death could occur. Don't be a coward. We can do this. I'm not quitting, because I ain't a quitter. You only live once, but I'm afraid of But I am a little concerned. What's the worst thing that can happen to you? I could freaking die. You me all right? Willie is not going to be OK. Let's go. Come on. My granddaughter said, let's go with a duck blind. And I said, well, now we are cooking with peanut oil. <laughs> are y'all fired up about these ducks or what? Yeah! I thought so. I said, you know, I am really proud of my granddaughters. <laughs> Hey, you never know. They may turn out to be duck hunters. It is never too early to teach them. Well, look out there on that bench in front of you. See them lined up out there? And we're going to see what kind of shots you are. Frack them and stack them. For everybody who hits one of those ducks, that's a crisp $1 bill. I didn't hear any meat pop. I don't think I got it. No dollar for you. I'm trying to teach these grandkids of mine the Robertson way. Put your head down where you look right down the barrel. I think I missed. I made a valiant attempt, but I'm not making much headway. Put the front sight right on the duck, Mary. She's fixed to shoot. Woo. You got him. <laughs> hey, hey, good work. Y'all some duck hunters now. Ladies and gentlemen, one more yuppie girl moved just a little closer to being a redneck. Did y'all ever play with dolls or duck hunt? There's still hope for America out there. You girls may make rednecks after all. It's a start. It's a good day. They learned a good lesson there. Hey, were you serious about my dollar? I did say I'd give you a dollar, didn't I, if you hit a duck. You just like a woman. Thank you. All it takes is money. Welcome to the High Hamilton Saturday Night Lawnmower Races. Are you ready to assume the role of CEO if something were to happen? Racers, start your mowers. We can do this. We can do it. You're going down, duck boy. No, I ain't. You're going down. On your mark. Get set. And all I'm getting from him is terror. He won't get off the inner track. He's driving eight miles an hour. He's scared to death. You're OK. You're OK. You're OK. These guys are fast, like supersonic fast. All I'm thinking about right now is don't die. Because 
if I die, in a weird way, Philip wins. Hey, look at McMillan. Looks like Philip McMillan's having engine troubles. I see that Philip's in trouble. I'm thinking, you know what? We can't win the war, but we could win this battle. Well, if you take it. Philip McMillan bringing up the rear. Forget winning the race. We just want to beat Philip. He's actually got a little speed builder down. Yeah! All you gotta do is finish. It's a nail biter to see who can take last place. And Willie takes the lead. <laughs> we got him. We'll take it. You buy the whole seat, but you only need to eat. You were terrible, but hey, you didn't finish last. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Why don't you go back and get you an undershirt? Better luck next time. Take them Crocs back to the old trailer house. Hey, right, let's go get something to eat. Hey, wait, we need to go put that lawnmower together. Father, we thank you for another good day on planet Earth. We also thank you for keeping old Willie safe during the race. Amen. 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 Let's eat. A wise man once said, you can't always get what you want, but sometimes you get what you need. Philip McMillan needed his tail whooped in a lawnmower race. My nieces needed some quality redneck time with Papa. And I had the need for speed. Ow! Well, I didn't exactly get that either, but I did learn the value of having a great pit crew, and on the race of life, that's your family and friends. They're the ones that make you feel like you've won, even when you come in last. And that's better than any trophy in the world. Hey, Willie, the praying mantis cuts grass way better than the thing you drive. It has nothing to do with grass! <laughs>
the more ridiculous it gets. Who put this in here? It's like hoarders gone wild. We'll get it done. Willie. All right, bye. We've been back in the warehouse trying to find the old DVDs. Yeah. We cannot find anything back there. I thought you were gonna get the guys to clean it up. The problem is not the mess in the warehouse. The problem is the girls walking through the warehouse. They don't get the whole redneck feng shui we got going back here. Just get the guys to clean it up, please. Fine, I'll go talk to them. All right, okay. you promise? Good. I ain't signed no contract. Yeah, I told you we did. There we go. Everything's business. All right, all right. Get out of here. Don't you have something to do? You ready for the surf? Boom! Why does it say, don't touch the so wire side? You shock somebody like that, it may stop his heart. <laughs> hey, look here. The electric flies water, that's about the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Well, that thing won't even hurt you. What are you talking about? Let's see. You swat him and kill him, and then you electrocute him. Are you psycho or something? Hey, I'll do this. Don't you bring it closer to me. I would never do that. Y'all take it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about Martin. He'll try anything. Oh, look at him. He's a gunshot. Gunshot. Yeah. <laughs> Martin is a guinea pig. A very large guinea pig. This place is a junkie. Do you know what that means? We're busy. Yeah. He's over hunting them. Hey, I'm on fly watch. We got a bunch of flies running around here. I got a new project. I know what it is. Do you? You're going to go and build us a man cave. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, well, what, that's a good idea. You give us a man cave, you wouldn't believe the work we'll churn out of here. Hey, have a little popcorn vendor. Hey. Mm -hmm. Have us a big screen movie theater. Yep. Mm -hmm. How about a nacho bar? Hey. Yep. Hey, I like right. nacho that's what bars. I'm talking about. All men need a cave. About three words in there were true. We're going to go in the warehouse, and we're going to organize. I'm pretty sure that my idea is better. No nachos. No popcorn? And no popcorn. Oh, Believe me. Better. Some things never change. Jace has always been terrible at keeping his room clean. We found a rat living under his bed one time. We named that little guy Pigpen. He's a pretty cool pet. It's all y'all's crap. Like, there's a freaking stuffed tiger Hey. Well, that's size. That's my tiger. That's a Burmese tiger. Hey. A <laughs> what? Burmese. Don't mess well, with a tiger. We don't need a stuffed tiger in here. What? Size an eyesore needs uh. to go. You know what I find ironic? I've been around Willie my whole life. He don't clean up anything, ever. Let's roll. Clean it up. Hey, right, don't mess with my tiger. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Look, oh, they all curve right. Hey! Go oh. forward, go forward. <laughs> Are you there? Yes, sir. Hey. What are y'all doing? Playing video games. They all need little black boxes. Headsets on, look like they made a spaceship out of the couch. Wires. <laughs> Transfixed. Can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Can y'all hear me now? Remove them from your head. Now we get someone. The last thing we need is more nerds. Miss K wants some crappie. Got a big fish fry. Are y'all fired up and ready to go fishing or what? Now? Yeah. Beat me in the truck. I'll make fishermen out of you two booger brains. Get off that thing. What are y'all in a trance? <laughs> This is gonna take a while. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, most of this stuff is Willie's. What in the world? I believe that's a tannin bed. Is that what this is? Well, look, let me guarantee you one thing. It ain't mine. <laughs> Willie has a master's degree in acquiring junk. Does anybody want this? What is it? The shark. Let's hear what you got, sir. Sucker don't even work. You gotta plug it in, son. And he miners in hoarding it. Man. I don't remember bike riding being like that. Vomit, you'll be all right. And it's not surprising. Is there anything about Willie that shouts, I'm clean? Watch a ricochet, boys. Watch a ricochet. Hey. Uh-oh. <laughs> boys, what are y'all doing back here? We're cleaning up. We're working. It looks like you're playing. Playing? Yeah. No, we're cleaning. Hey, y'all can handle this little cleanup detail. Miss Jessica's my ride to get new glasses. He needs them. Where are you headed, the Hubble Telescope Factory? <laughs> <laughs> what you about there, Jack? I got a choice here. 
stay at the warehouse all day and clean it. Or I could go sit in an air conditioned office with a quack asking me stupid questions about my eyes. All right, Jessica, let's go. These clowns. Hey, look here. You don't have to be blind to see there's an obvious winner here. Take that tiger, will you? You're a grown man. You do not need a tiger. Sure, I do. Me and that tiger's been through a lot together. <laughs> Boys, right here. What? I got something. What is it? Whoa! I got something here now. There's only one thing that can be. Oh, yeah. Woo! Well, what are we waiting on? Let's set this baby up. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Look, you're here. Ping pong. Look, you're here. Oh, my goodness. It's a ping pong table. As it all turns out, there's some awesome junk here. Gentlemen, I need a paddle. To let this sit idly by and collect dust is a travesty. I'm just gonna strap you boys. Put your paddle where your mouth is. I mean, I'm good with shotguns, fly swatters, and paddles. Just call me McEnroe. Call me Jimmy Connors. Sheriff Povich. Sheriff Pova? Yeah, when you wanna be a woman? Well, that's a good looking woman. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Great security. Security. I, wonder, Ooh, I got a winner. You never grow out of wanting to play ping pong. Seven three. I'm not saying I'm the best Robertson. I got 20 on Jay. Uh, <laughs> but I usually win. Game point. You get <laughs> ah, right. Red belly rules. Pay up, son. You know what to do. Everyone likes a little violence. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh. We had to think a while. How can we make ping pong more violent? Oh, red belly rules. Red belly! Oh, it's painful. Oh! But that's half the fun. Red belly, red, red belly, red belly. Make it hurt. Oh! God. Center mass. What is this? We found a ping pong table. I can see that, John. You're supposed to be cleaning up the warehouse. Not playing ping pong. We straightened up a little bit. What? Go back to the duck call room and work. Let's play one point. No, this is over. 1-0. <laughs> Jason's been trying to goad me into competitions ever since I was a kid. I'm not playing ping pong. I know, I see that. Jace, I'm 40 years old. And that's, that didn't count, I wasn't even ready. You wouldn't have hit it anyway. Those schoolyard tactics ain't gonna work anymore. It's nothing, nothing. That doesn't count. Starts now. Right, Game starts, starts now. now. Oh! oh. Uh oh. The boss has got some tricks. Just to be clear, I'm only doing this so they'll get back to work. One to nothing. Here we go. We'll go to seven. Junior Olympic team, son. Here go. Hey, I think it's this one up here on the right. No, that's the wrong type building. It's bound to be that up there on the left. Sir. It's been a while since I've been there, but hey, look. I use my side senses. Hey, I know this town like the back of my hand. This ain't the right way. We need to turn around. We turned around four times. I know, but hey, this ain't the right way. Hey, sir. Hey, look here. My senses were a little off. Well, how long has it been since you've been? Probably 10 years. Sir. Hey, I haven't been to the eye doctor in 10 years, but look, nothing's changed since the 90s. Hey, look here, turn on the radio, there's the flu fighters. Yours might be retired by now, but you haven't been there in 10 years. Well, I'm beginning to think that Cy is giving me the runaround. He may be out of business. He's trying to get out of going to the doctor and cleaning. I don't think so, buddy. What does that sign say? The one up there with an arrow? No, this one right here. Junction LA 557 side, you can't read that sign? Well, that's a little old bitty sign. You know what sign? But forget it. We're going to my doctor. We can't do this all day. I, I think it's right up here on the right, Jessica. That's a forest. It's just trees. Right, There's it. nothing up there. Look at that. You see that rod, Benny? Y'all trying to tell me that's better than video games? Oh, Jasper. He'll eat in a bind. Well, what's on a video game? What are you looking at? Huh? It's like... TV that you can control. What does that mean? What are you controlling? Like the game. 
there's a distinct possibility I may not be in touch with the young people of America. Y'all make good grades. How come you're so quiet? You're quiet, quiet. It's hard to figure. What is these modern day girls up there y'all fool with now? What do they think about video games, Cole, man? Do they play video games too? Yes, sir. Find a fast talking woman, and that'll pick up the slack on y'all's lack of conversation. Um. I understand the problem they're facing, the women of America. What's your grandson good for, Mr. Robinson? Well, they're real good at these uh, these uh, video games, you know. Because so far, y'all just smile and look at the ground, and smile again, look at the ground again. It just seems like it's hard for all these kids to function without something attached to their ear. And it's just a constant barrage, you know, since Facebook, my page, your page, his page. Do y'all ever come up with a kind of a pretty brisk conversation about today's events, politics, sports? You know, you think about it, there's a long distance between video games and me. <laughs> Y'all might ought to go by Walmart and pick you up a personality, you reckon? Man. <laughs> this is a ping pong battle royale spectacular. Brilliant! Now he's ready. Oh! oh. oh. I mean, I'm pretty much dominating. Oh! oh. Willie's in trouble. See you. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh! oh! Hammer team. Game point. Failure is not an option. Oh! Oh! No, he didn't. Uh-uh. So my point is, you win some, you lose some. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the fat lady has sung. Hammer him. Go for Hammer him. Red, right, belly. Red, Red belly. belly. Red belly. Yo, Red you belly. Look, you look, look at that. That's Red terrible. Killing me. Look at that belly, man. Come on. Hey, what Go are y'all doing? Get back to work. What are you talking about? Everybody get up, move this stuff. Uh oh. What are you talking about? The suspense is killing me. Hey, what are y'all doing? Get back to work. What are you talking about? Jeff, get that mop bucket. What's going on? Chase, get your shirt down, son. Willie. I know, uh, this is what I walked into. Don't even try it. I know it looks bad, but it's all Jace's fault. I'm just gonna figure out how. This is ridiculous. I know, I know. I came out here and found it. Yeah, with the ping pong paddle in your hand. I'm moving it. We had to make sure this ping pong table was functional. It's my job not to panic, but to turn this around. I'll tell you what, let's play a game. Good idea. Yeah. If you all win. We're not playing ping pong, you ding dongs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull up a chair for this. Look, if I convince Willie that this is not such a bad thing, well, what's Corey and my own wife? That's what people say when they're scared to lose. What, are you scared? Did he I just... ain't scared. Oh. No. Hey, hand hey. that over. I mean, if you don't want to play ping pong. Are you good, Missy? Yeah. Right. It's on. It's Let me on. get this side. You need to exit the building. I've been wanting to spank you all day. You hey, this was like taking candy from a baby. Let's go. Come on. I would say hide the women and kids, but you're here. Oh, oh good job, good job. You got it. Oh! oh. Oh. Come on, Willie, man up. You're in it to win it. Can't like replay. Come on now. We can't lose to the women. That's embarrassing. Oh! oh no! What in the world is going on? All right, what do we got here? Don't mess with that what stuff. What do you mean, don't? I, You're going to break it. I ain't going to break it. It's like I'm. Well, uh, you uh, see? Hello, sir. I'm Dr. Hi, Yeager. Look. I'm going to check your eyes today. All right. Hi, look. I don't trust doctors. Okay. Take your glasses off, please. All right. Last time Ms. K talked me into going to see a doctor, and next time I know, hey, I'm having an open heart surgery. Is it better this way? Yeah, this cat, he's up to no good is what he's up to. Or this way. They're both bad. This one? That's worse. Or this? They're both worse. Yeah. One or two? You got a three? Let's bring in the big guns. The boy told me he's bringing in the heavy equipment. Is that better? All right, now we're getting somewhere. Good. Who is this guy anyway? I can see a mouse at 300 feet in high grass at night. I have good news and bad news. What's the bad news? 
Bad news is you're legally blind. You've been driving around legally blind, son. You drive? Yeah, I drive. I'm surprised you haven't killed anybody. Have you ever considered laser surgery? Hey, what kind of idiot puts lasers in his eyes? No. No, I ain't going to no laser surgery. Hey, lasers are for space. What is this, Star Wars? I believe we have some lenses that won't bring you down to 20-20, but it'll at least make you safe on the highway. Well, you know the difference between berries and poop? Yes. We'll take it. Just what I need, some good help. You talking about two bubbly guys. These boys will talk your ears off when you're fishing. Now, I know those two guys, and they're not going to talk your ears off. But if you smile and look at the ground, the chicks say, now that. That's what I'm looking for. They got all the chicks after them, what can I say? So for all the young youths of America, here's a news flash. Start grinning and staring at the ground and shut up. I'm getting too old. Well, you know, Phil, not everybody wants a man that talks nonstop. It's America, man. It's a tangled jungle out there. Y'all gonna grow you some whiskers when you get big? I'm working on it. Have you had any sprigs of yang yang come forth from your face so far at 14? Have yes, you? sir. So what'd you do with them? Shaved them off. There you go. Yeah, we have to for school, too. Yeah, you have to shave your we whiskers? We have to shave for school. Do they say shave on your arms, too? No, sir. Oh, just the whiskers. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, Phil, we're not gonna take on the school today. Let's just make some jelly. Let that hair come out of the face. That shows that they're a man. They're not doing that. That's happening on its own. Whoa, man. Oh, oh, you get a little on your stove if you're not careful. Wonder who's gonna clean it up. See how them women, see how they moving, boys? Women, you know, a little peach fuzz scares them. They're out there. Whew. However, I was roaming around in South Arkansas one time, and some old gals up there. Whew. Women with whiskers. It's a bummer. Y'all trying to tell me that this is not better than video games? This is living here, Jack. Uh-oh. Oh, oh boy. I yeah. thought you boys were supposed to clean this joint up. I thought you was getting new glasses. New lenses. I'm back, Jack. <laughs> Don't mess with a professional. Can't get, you can have my spot right, side. Let me have Come that top. Hey. <laughs> Look in these eyes. That's corrected 2020 vision. Let me show these boys how to play ping pong. You boys are in for a world of hurt, both physically and metaphysically. So hi. Right, let's see what you got. Come on. Come on. Now you can see it, but can you hit it? Here we go. Here we go. That's fine. Right, so let me show you boys how to play some ping pong. Oh. Fresh Ooh. fried coffee, boys. Crappy. Yeah. 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 Like some fresh mm -hmm. crappy. Y'all bow. Father, we do thank you for the good muscadines you provide for us. Thank you, Father, for the fish that come forth from the water. We're grateful for them. Amen. 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 Well, let's get on them fish. Robertson's and responsibilities go together like spam and caviar. One just doesn't agree with the other. We might not enjoy the annoying tasks in life, like cleaning up the warehouse or seeing an eye doctor because you accidentally ate coon feces. But sometimes when we end up doing these things, we're surprisingly rewarded say, by having an unexpected day of red belly ping pong in the warehouse. Now we just have to finish cleaning the warehouse. And by we, I mean Jace. Say, si, you want to try some of this fine muscadine jelly? That's what I'm talking about. You sure you want to do that? Hey, eating a little poop? Please, I've had worse than Vietnam. <laughs> You want to go double or nothing? All right. Just give me five. God, no. Nah. Boys, <laughs> what am I doing over here working my tail off while you boys are playing dominoes? So it's because you are the reed man. Once you make the reeds, we make the duck calls. Y'all ain't got a clue how much I hate these reeds. Oh, when you just do something like I've been doing these reeds over and 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 over, Hey, that will make a man snap like a twig. Have y'all seen my tea glass? That's 10. Have y'all seen my tea glass? Well, give me 10. That's 10. It's hot. I'm getting thirsty. Which one of you idiots got my tea glass? Give me five. Everybody talking at the same time. I know one of these knuckleheads has got my tea glass. It may take me a while, but I'm going to get to the bottom of it. It's hot, boy. Good night. 
Hey. Boy, y'all really ain't got no lot of pig luck. Hey. Thanks a lot, boy. Hey. Oh. Pig luck. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Hot. Play. Pig luck. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I didn't hey. say anything. Hey. What? What are you doing? Where's the darn tea glass at? Si, we don't have your tea glass. Si, your teacup is not only disgusting, but I would rather play patty cake with a dead mouse than touch your teacup. One of you is just bound to got it. It ain't over here where I had it. Si, we're busy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Aretha Franklin. I don't get no R-S-P-E-C-T around this joint. I'm about to just, you know, go berserk on you boys. <laughs> no, nah, boys, hey, I'll tell you what. Here's the whole deal, boys. You know, uh, it's all this ha, 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 everything's si, funny just, and a hey, joke with y'all, OK? We're just kidding. Homie, don't play that. Hey, uh, y'all frame them babies because, hey, it's the last one this cat's doing. I'm out of here like si, a hey. tornado, boys. Hey, I quit. I think he really just quit. Well, we might as well finish this game. Well, I'm going to finish the game. He didn't even turn in a two weeks well. notice. I need a bird. What about it? Hey. Y'all finish some duck pickers? No, we run into a problem. Shocker. Si cut out. Huh? Si quit. He quit what? He quit his job. Go tell him to come back. Si cracks up and loses about every month. It's fine. Usually, if you just let him sit a while, he'll forget why he quit in the first place. You're not getting what I'm telling you. He really quit. He's gone. What'd you say to him? Nothing that I hadn't said 10 times before. Chase. I think, hey, I'm telling you, I think the strain was more than he could bear. You wait till he needs that paycheck, he's gonna be right back up here. Oh, I know. That's why the first thing I did is I told Linda to take him off the payroll. Get some of that. Jace. Jack. You don't take people off the payroll. I make those decisions. Well, what are you gonna do? The first thing I'm gonna do is take him off the payroll. I just took care of him. Second thing I'm gonna do is tell you to go back here and get them duck calls made. That's what we're doing. That's what I say you're doing. Really? Man, that's ridiculous. They're gonna quit. Now, that's my favorite sight in the whole world. You with a broom. You need to take a picture of this. You won't see this very often. Did you see any spiders up there? Yep. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? Willie's in charge of a funny farm. So I got his panties in the wild about something this morning. No. When I run into a situation, I can go out and vent my frustration, so to speak, on Phil. He'll listen. He's running in a sane asylum up there. Huh? Unless it gets boring, then he tunes me out. I'm over there working, and they over there playing, playing games. No. Well, I've had it. I'm sick of them. I quit. Huh? You no, know, I quit. Hey. Huh? So would you sum it all up? What is their problem? You know, they're idiots. Hey. Yeah. So, Sal, what are you going to do now? Hey, I'd roll up my sleeves and help you over on the land. You're a duck commander, so hey, I'll work for you. I was like a rabid coon back up there at the warehouse. Now, hey, getting back out in the woods, hey, that's where I was meant to be. Well, we always got something you can do down in here, Sal. I'm down like a rodeo clown. Hello? Yeah, hold on. It's Willie for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he Boss just man. got wind. Will? Si, what happened? You run a terrible company, and hey, it's not your fault. You got a bunch of scrubs working for you. I don't want no scrubs. Scrubs are out. Will, I quit. You can't just quit and leave. You're the reed man. Hey, if you want them reed so bad, hey, make them yourself, Will. Look, Si Robertson out. You did not just hang up on me. Well, if Sai's gonna play the quitting game, then I'm gonna play the hiring game. And finding a dude with a beard who needs a job in this town, it ain't that difficult. Well, let's get on it. I don't want no scrubs. Scrubs are out.
I'm gonna have to admit, I'm gonna mess old Cy here. Yep. Doing the reads. You know, let's face it, he was funny. You got that right. I can't imagine life in the duck call shop without Cy. Just missing the commentary on the bowel movements. Man, I'm gonna miss that guy. What is that? I thought I heard some pitter patter. Quit filing. Quit. Do you hear that? Mm hmm. That's a UV, an unidentified varmint. When I'm sitting in a room and I hear something with claws, and I'm fixed to find out what that is. I'm getting closer. Is this varmint domesticated? Is this varmint a nuisance? Is this maybe something that I can eat for lunch? You know what I need? What? One of those doctor things, you know? Scalpel. A what? Scalpel. A what? A what? You mean a stethoscope? What's he gonna do with a scalpel? Dissect him? <laughs> not. We're gonna have to get this out of here. How are we gonna get to him? This is the warehouse right here. It's where all the products come in, everything's stored. Uh, Duck call rooms back here where you'll be spending all your time. And size replacement is one of the best read men in the business. You're doing good for We're yourself, right. man. I like the bland colors, too. It's I really like, like them. Yeah. I think he's going to fit in perfectly with the rest of the team. These yeah, guys are professional. It? You're going to learn a lot. Yeah. You big old cat for it. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? <clears throat> Trying to get the squirrel out of the roof. Leave it to Jason and his bunch of slappies to make the perfect first impression for the new guy. All right, guys, this is Swede. He's the new Reed man. Once, just once, I want to walk in this room and actually see guys making duck calls. Swede. Yep. Do they make duck calls in Sweden? I have no idea. You're not from Sweden? No. Never been there. This guy is off to an odd start. You can't call yourself the Swede if you're not from Sweden. This goes against every kind of nickname protocol there is. Get him set up. That's Martin right. John Jeff. But hey, if the Swede can catch us up on the reeds, I don't care where he's from or what his nickname is. Welcome aboard. I'll get you lined out. OK, yeah. thanks. Thanks so much. No, that's my seat here. Oh, OK. Oh, that's yours. Huh. That one's got a hole in it anyway. <laughs> mm. This may be a bit premature, but this sweet guy, mm -hmm. whew, he stinks. <laughs> Oh, good grief. Hey, this already beats what I was doing up here with them knuckleheads. Shovels are better than reeds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Today, we are fixing our levee up, and old Cy fixing to get in on that project. Basically, it's two old coots tearing up stuff. It could be worse. Hey, I'm looking forward to this. Hey. We're just two wild, crazy guys fixing to go out in the great outdoors. The sun at our back, smell of the woods, wind in our beards. I'm, I'm like a stallion horse. I need to run wild and free again. Brothers are together again. It's going to be an old-fashioned bro-down, boys. We're like the dynamic duo. We got two tickets to the Brodeo. Batman and Rock. Let's catch it to Sundance Kid. Time to be still in that. Rosemary and Steels. And now. Actually, it's three. There's two of us. Booyah! And another one bites the dust. And another one bites the dust. And another one bites the dust. And. Do you got any more reads? Yeah. Because I burned through those like butter. Well, congratulations. Two hours ago, all we knew is that the Swede had a terrible nickname. And his talking was at a trickle. Watch this. Another one. 
Five minutes after that, the levee broke. I am literally burning through these things. It's been a flood of crap ever since. You look like a dwarven warrior. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm more of like an independent film kind of guy. You've never seen Top Gun. <laughs> but I actually know a lot about the Civil War. They have frogs this big. Great. And the Amish actually train themselves both body and mind. You're too close to him. This is awkward. That sounds like crap. How's it going? It's going. Look at this guy, huh? That's big time. I couldn't be more happy with how the Swede's working out in the duck car room. So you're doing good, son. Thanks, boss. Cy Robertson is but a distant, old, foggy, farty memory. Look how quiet he is. <laughs> quiet as a church mile. I like it. Keep working. Is it break time yet? Yeah. Boy, it's good to get out of that stupid warehouse. Back out here in the woods. Oh, Red looks like he's moving some dirt. For your manual labor, it's hard to find hands. That's why we got old Red, backhoe operator. What do you think? You got a big hole to fill up. So, uh, sign basically just be there for moral support. They ain't doing it right. I don't know what he was doing. Red, he's a fair operator on the backhoe. You know, he ain't a great operator. I'm a great operator. Hey, Red, hold up. You ain't, you ain't doing it right. Let me get let me get on that back hole. I'll let you have it. You can do a better job than me. So are you can you handle it? Yeah, I can handle it. You understand the objective. Hey, look here. You see that dirt right there? Yeah. That needs to go right there. That is the objective. Take the dirt from right I, there. I got that. Huh? I got it. Huh? I got it. That machine will be an extension of my body. You know, the only difference between that and my hands is I can't grab as much with my hands. Si, you've been building them reeds for about a decade. When's the last time you was on a backhoe? Community project. <laughs> Community project? Yeah. In Vietnam. <laughs> si, that's been 40 years. It's been a while, but it's like riding a bicycle. You never forget. <laughs> you boys don't worry, worry about it. I know what I'm doing. Put the dirt bag in the hole. Piece of junk. Whoa. Boom, bow, bang, boom, bow, squealing. That dirt there needs to go this hey, way. Hey, I know it. Hey, it sounds a little rusted on this thing. Good night. I better back up a little bit. Yeah, I see trouble here. Trouble, trouble here. <sighs> hey, this thing's a piece of trash. Jerky, I know that. Uh-oh. I mean, it's prime, so I probably was pretty good at using heavy machinery. But I remember when Miss Kay weighed about 95 pounds and was a cheerleader. But them days kind of long behind us here now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Mm. Hey, Sai. The idea is to keep the water over there. I don't know what you're talking about. It ain't my fault. This thing here is a piece of junk. I failed to see how this is not old Silas's fault right here. What do you think, Red? <laughs> hey, look, this back hole is old, OK? It's not functioning right. So I might ought to call it a day and let old Red get back on that back hole and see what he can do with it. Well, hey, he's welcome to it. I'm old, too, but hey, I function perfect. Perfectly perfect. Yeah. Get, get, get. Don't play with Bobo. He's right over there. Go on. I'll go that way. Miss Kay, what are you doing in there? I'm watering. Whew. How'd it go over there? Oh, it went great. <clears throat> Red, let's see. Whoo. You did pretty good today, Red. <laughs> now it's doing business with you. See you all in the morning. Good work. What about my pay, Phil? Well, how am I going to get paid now? Paid? Any cash? 
pee inside a tear of a levee and let water out instead of hold it in, that'd be kind of like paying a game warden to come down there and write you up for something you've Game. done. <laughs> now, the only money changing hands is between Will and everybody, not Phil and everybody. Oh, Will be your contact on that. Well, hey, you're the duck commander. I'll just tell Will that, hey, you said pay me. Mm, I don't know about I'll that. I'll see you in the morning. All right. Probably won't add up to do this squat. What's up, Will? Hey, what's up? I got 100 classics done. Set them down. Thank you. Yeah. How's it going? I'm nailing it. There's a reason why I do all the hiring and firing around this joint. Because I know people. Everybody here I have strategically placed to do a job. Or their family. Actually, most of them are just family. Do you like it back there? I mean, I'm getting along with the guys real well. Rock and roll. Oh, man. Good fresh air. Grief. That's what I needed was fresh air. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't understand how somebody hadn't knocked this guy's teeth out before. I'm ready to come out here and scratch some gravel with him. Something to do with getting his windpipe ripped out or something where he can't talk, you know what I mean? Dismembering. I want to dismember him. I'll let me do it. I'll do it. Why? I'll take all the pressure off of you. Huh? This is getting awkward. I guess till tomorrow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Look at here. Look at here. What about it, boys? I have never been so happy to see you in my entire life. I have never been so happy to see you in my entire life. If it wouldn't be so awkward, I would actually give you a hug. That's how excited I am What's to see you. What's he talking well, hey, about? Look. Come here. Hold, I am going to give back. you a hug. Hey, hold, come hold, here, Sal. No, it's just good look to here. see you. Hey, look here. Hey, y'all, a dollar late, you know, a day late. A day late. That's, that's late. Well, you need, to go, you need to go meet your replacement. Uh, replacement? Yeah. Hey, you boys ain't learned yet. Y'all can't replace me. Well, you know what? You know, I need to talk to Willie. He's talking to him now? Yeah, he's talking you to know, him I'll now. I'll tell him, hey, he's going to have to hire probably five people to you know, take care of what, what I've done. All right, well, good luck. Yep, all right, see y'all boys later. Rocking and rolling, sweet. Mm -hmm. You are churning them out. Well, actually, you know. One at a time. Bang, bang, hey, bang, bang. Oh. bang. Oh. Huh. I wanted to talk to you about that. Excuse me. Hey, hey Sal. I don't put in a hard day down there with Phil. Hey, he said I had to ask you for get paid. Hey, yeah. for what? Hey, for working out there with Phil. Everything down there is just for funsies. Hey, funsies don't pay the bill, Jack. This is the guy you replaced. Hey, I don't know what he's been telling you. This is the most boring, drudging, dull, monotonous, unappreciated job there is around this joint. I don't listen. You want some advice? Get yourself some thick, thick glasses, because then you're going to need them looking at them reeds. Ah. My hands cramp up from back there doing them reeds. Now, see this finger here? That finger used to be straight. Si, your hands are cramping up because you're 100 years old. Plus, hey, I've been sitting on that chair for about 10 years. I got hemorrhoids the size of golf balls. Si, please. See, I'll tell you about that. Swede, don't listen to him. This is your job. It has nothing to do with his hemorrhoids or anything he's talking about. You're the man for the job. Well, actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Actually, I'm, I'm quitting. Quitting? <laughs> but I hope there's no hard feelings, really. So you were crushing it. Yeah, I know. I just, this isn't for me, man. I appreciate it, though. You believe this guy? Yeah, I believe him. I got him right where I want him now. You, you seen the movie Negotiator, OK? Hey, I need to get a pay. Well, I just had a position open up. What position? Chief reed maker. You gotta admit, that's the worst job in this company. The most boring and monotonous job. I'll give you a raise. I can do that. All right. And I want an assistant. No. I'll give you a raise. I'm not giving you an assistant. And a two-hour nap. Nah. Deal. Deal. The one-hour nap is in, right? Dude, you're getting demanding in your old age. Father, we thank you for a good day. Thank you for the good food Miss Kay has cooked for us. Amen. Amen. I noticed that macaroni and cheese ended up in front of them big ones down there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's eat. Let's eat. When it comes to working with family, Lord knows it ain't always easy. I found that in life, we tend to take the people closest to us for granted. They're around so much, we forget how much we really need them. I think the trick to remembering is to be away for a while. It always serves as a good reminder as to really how important a person is, even if that person is a kooky old fart. 
Si, no more quit. I'll agree with that if one of these idiots to give me my tea glass back. Si, we do not have your tea glass. Hi. Hey. Let's get it out, because I got to get out of here. Quit being in such a hurry. Move, dog. Boo, boo! Mom, is Jeff up there? Yeah. Jeff! Don't yell at him like that. He's sensitive. He can't hear me if I whisper. Well, just get up closer and do it. Don't Jeff! You... Good grief. When Mom decides it's time to buy new furniture, she typically calls the Robertson & Sons Moving Company to come help her get it in. Hey, buddy. Hey. Come give Mom a hug. But today, she's going to have to settle for one of the daughters, Jeff. Jeff, get your butt up here. Let's get this out. You get up there. Willie, be nice, OK? Oh, he's gung-ho. He's more nimble, like a female. Well, he's got nice calves, see, Will? <laughs> Jeff is the youngest out of all of us. My whole life, my parents have babied him. <laughs> Willie, he's the littlest one, and look what you got him doing. Mom, he's a grown man. Oh. Did you hurt yourself? Ow, 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 ow. Fingers, fingers. Uh -oh. Jeff might as well be the bubble boy. Mom, you got to open the door. OK, well, give me a minute. A minute. Mom, hurry up. Jeff, are you all right? Yeah. Mom, don't worry about Jeff. He's a baby. He's got a fully grown man beard. Cut the umbilical cord. Dude, my wrist is cramping. You're going Shut to Shut up. Hurry. Watch, Jeff. I don't want you to get another hernia. It took you two years to get over that last one. Thanks, Dad. All right, let's try to put it up on its side. It ain't going to fit. Miss Kay, take this thing back. That's exactly Whoa. what. Whoa! I'm going to take it back and get that other one I liked, OK? No good deed goes unpunished. You would think I would know that by now, but here we are. All right, let's get it back in the truck. That's all you, man. I ain't doing it. Have you ever seen Die Hard? Yeah, I've seen Die Hard. It sounds like an autobiography of Si's life. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't get that. I've seen Die Hard. It has nothing even close to me in the movie. Because, Si, of all the crazy, clumsy things you've ever done, you've lived to tell about it. One time, Si had an actual heart attack while we were hunting. Remember the heart attack duck hunting? That's pretty incredible you survived that one. And he didn't even know it. Most people say, I better get to the hospital. So I said, hand me some more shells. That's it. Hey. How are you still alive? Whoa! Don't hurt yourself, sir. Si. It's a mystery. What is that noise? Oh, it's his stomach. He's been doing that for an hour. I'm about to starve to death. Boy, does that remind me. Hey, in Vietnam, they cook up something that's like a fortune cookie, OK? But it's sweet. Were they like donuts? They was the Vietnam version of a donut. Were they hot? Yeah. A hot donut is one of life's wonders. Well, they just slide down your mouth. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Good night of living. If they passed a law saying the only way you could continue to eat hot donuts is if you shave your beard, it's goodbye beer. What's the difference in hot or cold? There's something about it. Cold ones, I get six. Hot ones, I get 48. 40. <laughs> That's the difference, OK? Now, look, they got a new donut shop that just opened down here. Oh, yeah, right up the road. We're going to ride down there, and I'm going to tell them I want a hot donut. Hey, Amen. Let's do it. We need a field trip. Let's go. We got to sort this out. I don't discriminate between hot or cold. I just eat them. He's not a donut connoisseur. More shopping. Oh, well. We're back. Back again. The first couch was too big to fit through Miss Kay's door. Now we're back for round two. Just pick something small and let's get out of here. You can't rush this. The trick is to get in and out. I like the darker one, don't you think? Perfect. Let's yeah. get that. Because if she thinks about it too long, she'll never make a decision. I'm not for sure at all yet. What do you think should go with the dark? Like the green with the brown, the gold with the brown, the green and the gold and the brown? Yep. I tell you, this one might look better with that. Let me see. Mom, weren't you just here looking at all these things? 
Well, things change. Besides, I can't get it all in my remembering. What do you think? Whatever fires you up. The biggest lesson that Willie Boy has not learned about women is they browse. Do you think these pillows just come with this? That's pretty, but not for us. Now, why would that say cat nap napper? Sometimes you just have to sit back and wait it out. Yeah, hey. This wouldn't work, but now that couch would. Oh, look at gray. Kind of like a hostage situation. Check this baby out. Hey. They'd never know I was here, and they walked right by me. It's kind of frightening, actually. Mm. This ain't good. Mom is shopping, and Dad's getting comfortable. Hey. These ain't signs I'm leaving soon. I'm beginning to get into this furniture shop. Oh, my god. <laughs> Here we go. I'll fix to prove a point to y'all. Mm-hmm. What in the world? You went a free camper for some donuts? It's been there all week. You want to sell some donuts? You back a camper in there and give it away. There'll be rednecks come out of rocks, caves, and mountaintops to eat your donuts. Look at here. Went a camper. Is that for real? That's for real. The drawings today, we'll even deliver it. This is redneck society at its finest. Right. What we really want to know is, do you have hot donuts? I'll have you some in 10 minutes, maybe. 10 minutes? Oh. What on earth could you be doing where you couldn't wait 10 minutes for some hot donuts? If they say one hour, you say, I'll wait all day. Look here. If they're hot, I'll eat more than all three of y'all. What are you talking about? Hot or cold, I'll eat more than you, hey, son. I got 20 bucks to sell. Oh, I eat more donuts than I'll all take three more. I'm in on that. Here you go. Right there. Right there. There ain't no way you can eat more than I can. We'll start off with a dozen apiece and go from Open there. Open us a tab. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't think, looking at me, at my physique, but hey, look, I'm like a small nuclear plant. That's just my metabolism, OK? Boys, hey, I should have just went ahead and put the $80 in my pocket, because I'm going to win. Uh, you ain't going to win, son. You're too skinny, man. Mm-hmm. Run your mouth. Go ahead. I'm going to come in number one. You ain't even going to come in second. Look at you boys are in for a world of hurt. I just picked him up off the glacier. Oh, yeah. Well, let's go with mm -hmm. it. Ready, set, go. Here we go. Oh, they are hot. Good, yeah. Oh. That's good right there. That's the best donut I've had today. Looks like y'all are doing pretty good. I'm going to check on the next batch for y'all. All right. Oh, yeah. The eating contest begins. Three on. I look around. Gawain is inhaling one right after another. Martin's over there sucking down chocolate milk just to keep him down. And Si looks as cool as a cucumber, slow and steady. Just. That's when I realized, oh yeah, I have met my match. I have to admit, I may be in trouble. I'm about to die. Hey, boys, I'm just getting started. This is just an appetizer. Where are you putting hey. things, in your pocket? Hey, no. Hey, look here. You boys are a bunch of pansies. I'm on 22. Where are you at, son? I'm going 29. I could do this in my sleep. You know, hey, thinking about that, hey, I could use a good nap. This is number 32. I'm going to bow out at 27. That's all I got. Yeah. I can't do it. I'm done. You boys crying, Uncle? It ain't worth $20 for me to go puke my guts out. Oh. All right, boys. You won, sir. Si. Congratulations. I beat that contest. Now I'm fixing to win that camper. Where's that lady at? Right there. Huh? And hey, look here. With this 80 bucks, I'm fixing to parfait this into some serious cash. Hey, let me get 80 of them tickets for Silas Robertson. <laughs> I'll fix the wind that sucker. It's either bet big or go to the house, Jack. Oh, let's get out of here. Y'all want some donuts to take with y'all? Not a chance. They were good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, me, get up. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I'll hand them. <laughs> yeah. I'm in, I'm in no shape to be catching 50 pound boxes. <laughs> Because I have a weight distribution problem right now. We are suffering from a condition called donut stupor. I hope this makes me throw up. Look at my belly. When you put large quantities of digested donuts in motion, 
your body becomes a ticking time bomb. Ugh. And then it just <laughs> falls apart. Yeah. Take it. Ah. Them look heavy. Yeah, they're heavy. You lazy right. rascal, why don't you help us? <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, you old coot? <laughs> why is he laughing? He going crazy? He's delirious. <laughs> Too many huh? donuts. <laughs> look right here. You have got to be kidding me. You from the donut shop? I am. Hey, that's what I thought. Which one of you is Silas? Oh, hey, that'd be me, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look here. I've always been lucky. I'm talking about, hey, penny on head, inside a horseshoe. You gonna need these right here? Uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. On top of a four-leaf clover. Hey, my money paid for that. So did hey, mine. No. And rolled up with the leprechaun. Hey, I'll see you suckers later. All right, enjoy your new pad. Oh, I plan on it. Mm. Hey, you still got to make reads. Hey! Isn't that gorgeous? No, it's not. Look, well, do the pillows and the comforter come with these beds? Mom, just when I thought the worst was over, Kay discovers the mattress section. Mom, we're getting a couch, not this. I know, but our bed is 15 years old. This is gonna be bad. Oh, I'm just gonna try this out. Mom. Hey. <laughs> Agile. Hey. Hey. I don't think, I think that's against the rules. No, we gotta test it out. Mom, you don't need a mattress. Well, come on, let's see if we can spoon. Let me but go. But you have to turn sideways. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna look at this. I think there's something in the Geneva Convention about it being inhumane to force somebody to watch their parents in bed. Well, this has given me something to look forward to. Ah, forget waterboarding. This is real torture. We're in public. How about this? I don't, I never did like shaking the sheets to find my woman. Well, you never have had to, have you? Not at all, honey. I know where you be. Oh, well, you want to go in the lowest part of the bed and just find where it goes down. She be down in there. Well, she ain't quite as agile as she would, but hush, hey. Hush, hush. I wouldn't want to be rummaging around hunting up my woman in the dead of night, as they say. We've now entered the comforting zone. You know what I'm saying, Miss Kay? Yeah. Is that sex? Oh, my gosh, Mom. Willie just needs to grow up. I mean, it's like he knows about the birds and the bees and what people do in that bed. Can you get us that comforter? <laughs> Would you like some mirrors too? Would that help out or? <laughs> no, you, you, you don't want to watch what me and your mom have been doing. That is way too much of that. Make sure it holds me good. Oh, I love this. Thank oh, y'all sure look cozy over here. Now, which sofa was that y'all had picked out? It's that chocolate covered one that's over there by the window. I think she means chocolate colored, not covered. Okay. Y'all could take the couch with you today, or you can have it delivered for an additional $70. Deliver. 70 bucks? Dad, I'll pay for it. It's not a problem. It's not the money, it's the principal. Oh, crap. That's great. Now I'm going to have to lift another couch. All right, we'll take it with us. OK, I'll go get your ticket ready. So can't wait to see what else this day has in store. Do we have to pay to clean this thing? I take a regular bath every Saturday. Oh, boy. It's awful quiet in here. I'm enjoying the peace and tranquility of life without Cy. Si. Cy si has turned his fancy little camper into an office of solitude. And he's given me the greatest gift he's ever given me. Silence. This is my last read. How many more Cy si got for us? My count is five. Five? Let me go check and see if he's building any of Yeah, you're going to have to go out there and tell him we need some reeds. Unbelievable. This is the way we do it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. In living color. Sam, si, what are you doing? Hey, I'm cooking me something to eat. I got hungry. God, that stinks. Hey, that's my squirrel and spaghetti. How in the world can you be hungry after all them stinking hey, donuts? Hey, look, that was, a, that was a snack. Ooh. Oh, good grief. So you ain't got those reeds? No, tell Jay it's a work in progress. Oh, good lord. All right, I'll tell him. I'm out of here. Ooh. And na 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 Ooh. na 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 mm. na
What's the verdict? The Cy has got some kind of squirrel concoction out there. That mess turned about two weeks ago, it smells like. Oh. He don't have any reeds? No, 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 no. Who would have thought the Cy could have out eaten y'all? I wouldn't have thought it. <laughs> this is a problem. This is the way we do it. We're officially out of reeds. Done. This won't work. We gotta have the reeds. It all comes back to that stupid raffle. Cy turning this camper into an office, it's not working. We've created a perfect storm. He has brought production to a screeching halt. We can't just sit here. I, I, I gotta have reeds. I would say he's the cow in the track stopping the train, but I would never look at my Uncle Cy si and see a cow. Well, let's go out there. This won't work. <laughs> unless it was severely malnourished. What's the man doing? It's not gonna work. Sir, si, we need some reeds. Sir? Si? Sir? Si? Check his pulse, make sure he's alive. He's out. If he wasn't snoring so loud, I'd think he was dead. Let's pour some cold water on him. If there was ever a perfect opportunity to mess with my Uncle Si, now is the time. I got a better idea. What's that? Follow me. Whoa! This is one of the best ideas I've ever had. How about a little ride to the middle of nowhere? Jack. I've never seen a man sleep quite like that. Oh, it's impressive. <laughs> Bingo, we got that sucker. Bring this big puppy right on in here. Oh, that looks good. All right, little sister. All right. Good job, Jeb, getting the cushions. Yeah, didn't he do good? Mission accomplished. Jeb, take that crap off of it. Finally, Kay likes the couch and all is well in the world. Now I can get back to doing what I do best, giving orders, not taking orders. This is the official unveiling. Mm, are you excited? Oh, yeah, yeah. What you think, Mom? It's awesome. Well, I hate to say this. Uh-oh. I don't like it. I don't oh, like it down here. Oh, no. What? The dogs are not even jumping on it. Bobo's over there. Jesse Three's over here. They, Mom, we're not letting just... the dogs decide what the couch is. Well, they live here, buddy. Dad, tell her we're keeping this couch. Great cooking. She treats me like a king. Let's see, has Miss K ever turned me down for a little loving? The dogs didn't like it, Will. Got to go. Whatever Miss K wants, that's what she gets. You know, I kind of like my old one. It's got a lot of memories. Well, we're right back where we started, Will. <sighs> Maybe we can give it to you. Yeah, now nah, we're talking. Oh. oh, see, look at it. Oh, my Ain't gosh. It? You gotta be freaking kidding me. I'm not kidding. I just went through the seven circles of hell to get that couch down here. And you're gonna give it to Jeff for free? It could be a birthday present. Yes, my birthday's coming up. It's in six months. So? Sometimes when you have to work really hard for something, it makes it that much sweeter when you actually get it. I should tell Jeff that because otherwise, he'll never know. So we're going back to the old couch? Yep. Good call. All right, I'm out of here. Enjoy the couch, Jeff, because next time I'm over at your house, I'm going to pee on it. The dogs made the ruling. Hey, Willie, can I borrow your truck? No. I just wonder, what's the first thing he's going to say when he opens that door? Probably going to feel like Lazarus. He's been <laughs> risen from the dead. <laughs> There's nothing like a good old-fashioned Robertson family road trip. Uncle, nephew, bonding time. Let's see, I think this is the perfect spot. This is the best idea we have ever had. Unload. Mission complete. All right, let's get let's out of here. here. Enjoy, sir. Sweet dreams, Uncle Si Robertson. Sweet dreams. He's still sleeping. Now I know how he made it through the war. He just slept through He just slept through it. Man, 
thing, that was a tranquil nap. Look here. I felt like I was floating on clouds the whole time. Ah, oh. This camper's like being dipped in, in the fountain of youth, boys. All right, very funny, boys. Hey, get y'all's butt back down here, you three stooges. Good grief, boys. Hey, whatever happened to respect your elders around this joint? Man can't even go take a nap anymore around this idiot. Hey, is that funny? Why are you idiots? <laughs> All right, y'all bow. There he is. Yo, hey, si. Si. Si, nice of you to join us. It ain't funny, you three stooges. <laughs> <laughs> Father, we thank you for this good food that you blessed us with. Help us to love you more and love each other. Amen. Amen. Being a good family man is often an exercise in patience. I mean, getting through to a loved one can be as difficult as getting a couch through a door. Except there's no return policy for indecisive mothers, spoiled brothers, or uncles with donut food comas. But with a little love and patience, you'll find that all family, no matter how quirky or weird, is a perfect fit. And I wouldn't exchange them for anything. Jeff, how'd you get that couch out of here? I paid a couple of guys to do it. Good thank you, son. Well. I never figured out them guys who go to Italy to run with the bulls. No, Spain. Spain, Italy. It seems like a thin line between being a matador and a rodeo clown. I mean, what what are they thinking? They're not thinking. Why don't anybody just jump on the thing and ride it down to That's the finish line? That's what I'm talking about, just sparring. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Got the wood duck calls done? Nope. We're waiting on Reed from Cy. Where is he? He's napping. Yep. It's the middle of the day. Yep. My gosh. I'm getting him. Si has a condition. He's a redneck epileptic. Si, it's kind of like being a narcoleptic, but instead of falling asleep randomly, he only falls asleep when he's on the job. Hey, I just mentioned work, and you'd think I shot him with a horse tranquilizer. He's out like a light. Si. What? You're supposed to be working. What do you mean? We're waiting on reeds right now. Who is? The company. I'm about leaving. Give me about 15 more minutes. Hey, look here. Napping is just like honey. You walk through the warehouse, you look over there, hey, perfect spot. Boom, I'm asleep. I'm not paying you just to sleep. Who is? Si. What? Hey. What are you yelling for? Si, you ain't working. Work, work, work. You've shut all the production down. So get on up, let's get going. <sighs> get the duck car room. Hey, I'll be there in a few minutes. All right. Work hard, nap hard. Hey, that's what I always say, Jack. Put your butt up. Let's get to work. Give me about 15 more minutes. I'm thinking about leaving. I mean, these guys just don't take it seriously, you know, and that's part of the growing business, what I've had to deal with. Well, that's where I think I can help you, Willie. The key to it all is evaluating every avenue of production and try to make things flow together. Since Duck Commander's business is booming, I brought in a business consultant to help us maximize our efficiency. Ah! Oh! What I'm talking about. And he's gonna have his hands full with this bunch of slappies. What are y'all doing? We're taking a break because it's raining. And we're inside, you idiot. When it's raining, people that work outside take a but break. But you're not working outside. You're working yeah. inside. I'm for equal opportunity for everybody. Yeah. Look, Willie, it's not rocket science. We're on a rain break. You give it a few minutes, the storm will pass, then we'll go back to work. This is Dickie. He's a business consultant. He's going to help us out with some well, ideas. Yeah. It's hard to take a man seriously with the name Dickie. Richard's here to make us more efficient. We're gonna be more productive. Efficient at what? Working. Working. We're trying to make this business better. When is Willie gonna learn that we are operating under maximum efficiency? This thing's over. There's changes are coming, son. You know, when somebody says, 
Do your best. This is the best we got. You're finished. Go back to work. What's your tough one, Will? Why don't you take a dunk at it? See if you can Sorry about that. Yeah, here we go. There you go. Well, dunk that. Crazy. He's in the soccer man. The boy's got a pretty good leg. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's too much. Look at it. <laughs> now what am I going to do? Usually, I bring my hot boudin to the church potluck dinner, and they stand in line for them. It's supposed to be 100 people, but they didn't eat. I've never had such a problem getting people to eat my boudin. Must be skinny girls. All they're worried about is if they gain an ounce. You know, I think you could take a couple of these trays. No. You need a sausage, honey. Well, the reason y'all had all that boudin left, these skinny girls, they don't eat boudin. I ate everything. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I need four or five pounds of boudin in one sitting, just about. It literally is better than sex when you're my age. You like a good, healthy woman like me, don't you? Hey, I like a woman who's got a little meat on her bones. Sex or boudin, honey? Uh, let's go with the boudin. Hey, good call. Well, what are you gonna do, give it away? Gotta do something. This is ridiculous. I mean, my friend has an old truck that we could serve out of. What is it, an 18 wheeler or some kind of big rig? Or no, what? it was an ice cream truck that she converted to sell food out of. It's perfect. I like it, I like it, like it. There you go. I have one question. I know this is a crazy question. Who's gonna drive the truck? I'm thinking about you. So what I get out of this deal? All the boudin you can eat. And I might even give you some kisses later. What about that? Well, that might work right there. One, <laughs> one of them back room meetings. I like it, Miss Kay. Thank you. I'll get my money's worth for this day's over. What's up, guys? What's up with this? What is this crap here? Just have a seat, sir. I wanted to call a meeting about the rules of the workplace and efficiency. This is what we need to bring us together. I'm excited about it, and I think they're going to like it. Employees' rules and regulations, policies and procedures, and other stuff to control you. Sir, si, sit down. We're going to talk about it in a second. You done lost your mind. Hey, look here. The vet call had a bunch of rules and regulations, too. You see how that ended? Boom! Talking about that's what I'm talking about. What did you do with our food room here? This ain't the food room, it's the conference room. It was the food room where we took our breaks to eat. Yeah, and all your food has been dumped in the garbage. Believe me, I cleared it out. <laughs> what? I knew this was a bunch of crap. That's we lost our was. eating place. We, now we done lost our refrigerator, too. I had a ham sandwich in there. That's been, yeah, Just that's gone. Well, where are we gonna go eat at? We're not eating right now. We're having a meeting about teamwork. And, by the way, I do have some awesome new free uniforms. This is not a beauty contest. Do we look like beauty contestants to you? Hey, I'm putting lipstick on the pig, so... You put lipstick what? Yeah. You can wear lipstick if you want to. This is not Barbie and Ken that you're playing with back here, okay? Quit trying to dress me up. The only way that I would wear that if I was dead and you Put that on me That's before right. you put and me in. bury him. You will wear these or I'll dock your pay. I feel like if I put these clothes on, I'm gonna look like a vacuum cleaner salesman. I'm not doing it. I'll tell you that right now. I ain't asking permission. Hey. We doing it, all right? We make uniforms. duck calls. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack. Put your uniforms on, boys. Does that shirt have a collar on it? I don't have a neck. That don't work. I now I see why you've worn that ponytail all these years. So I've been wearing that ponytail to look more professional. Size so has got a rat tail. You got a squirrel <laughs> tail back here. Hey, zip. Squirrel tail. <laughs> <laughs> what are y'all doing? Working. Working? Yeah. I cannot believe y'all put those uniforms on. Pathetic. You think that you're working with men. This is ridiculous. You're not gonna pay me enough money to wear something that I would only wear if I were dead. And that's because I would have no choice in the matter. Jeff, you look feminine. You actually look feminine. I'm just trying to look professional, man. Si? Hey. You look like you're headed toward your own funeral. I don't like it. 
Hey, wearing this uniform makes me want to kick my own butt. This has gone way, way, way too far. Nerd alert, and hey, and I'm it. You think his uniforms are bad? He took the doggone rim off our basketball goal. Huh? Not a fan. I want my hoop back. Warden Willie at it again. I can't work in this environment. He's trying to cause a riot. Do, do, do. Hey, hey, hey! Y'all look awesome. Gowan, smoking. I can't breathe. You look good, though. What's up with this crap? Well, if it isn't my wayward brother, Jace, who apparently is hearing impaired as well. All right, Jace, here you go. I'll sign it for you. Jace, go get your uniform. I am not wearing a uniform, ever. All right, I'm docking your pay. All right, dock my pay. Oh, OK. You want to play the corporate game and act like we don't know each other, I'll play that game. If you want to go corporate America on us, then we'll just go on strike. <laughs> I'm walking out of this door, and I'm not coming back. I'm with Jace on this, nephew. Sorry. We finito finished. I'm walking out. Hey, I ain't gonna do it anymore. That was my ham sandwich. I need y'all. I can build my own freaking duck calls. If y'all can do it, anybody can do it. Phil, Miss K. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Check this out. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Look at that. Boudin bus. Uh, that is amazing. You like these? I love them. Don't you love them? Oh, I'm all fired up. At 50, I'd have said, no, nah, you ain't get me on no food truck. Boy, this is a pretty snazzy looking little oh rig here. Oh, my goodness. But at 66, OK, let's go riding on the food truck. Pretty cool. My manhood is not gone yet, but the food truck, you're going that way. Well, citizens of West Monroe, Miss Kay's booty and get it while it lasts. I'm not a eunuch, but I'm getting close. <laughs> Everything is perfect. Hey. Let's go grab the food and grab your shirts. Hey, let's go with it. Go for I it. I like it. Come on, Bobo, you can go with us. We're fixed to bring Duck Commander and Willie to their knees. Mm-hmm. Look at there. Robin, that's not how you spell sandwich. We're trying to come together, big and small, dumb and smart. Give me my sandwich. My sandwich. Mainly dumb. These uniforms suck. That's right. We're sticking this out because Willie's wrong. I don't know, but I've been told. I don't <laughs> know, but I've been told. <laughs> These uniforms suck. It ain't no doubt about it. <laughs> These uniforms <laughs> suck. It ain't no doubt about it. I'm gonna wipe my feet on it. <laughs> what I'd rather do is go hunting in protest. But I'm trying to teach Willie a lesson. I do not submit to stupidity. What do you want anyway? Uh, no. no, not what do they want, what do we want? All right. Jay and Bilal, this will be a fun venture today. Is this better than a day at the land? No. Well, boudin buggy coming down the road. All right, I see some kids right here, Kay. We might make a sale right here. My job and Miss Kay's job is to enlighten the yuppie world. Boudin has come to the subdivision. No ice cream, boudin. Boudin. These yuppie kids don't know what boudin is. What's in it? It's hog guts full of rice and some seed and gets you some of them. Ooh. 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 These days, show the yuppie kids a hog liver and they're like, whoa. Hey, it's hot, it's fast, it's cheap. Skinny one's in the front, fat one's in the back. Let's go. No. Uh, <laughs> I want an ice cream. Them yuppie kids ain't hungry enough. That's their problem. Yuppie kids are missing out and don't even know it. Move on, nerds. Moving on, yuppie kids. They may take our basketball goals. Yeah. They may take our paycheck. Oh. Already done it. But they'll never take our freedom. Yeah. Yeah. People are honking. We got our signs. We're getting our message out. I feel like I'm making a difference in this world. I'm ready to fight now. Hey, that uh -oh. makes two of them. <laughs> uh, this is stupid. 
Your policies are stupid. Mm-hmm. Chase, this ain't funny. Get your butt back to work. Work, work, work. Nobody takes the time to stop and smell the roses. Hey, so Jack, we're smelling the roses. I'm gonna tell you from personal experience. One time I was smelling the roses, a big mama bee stung me on the nose. So hey, from then on, look here. You can smell the roses, but hey, smell them quick. Or Obama bee's liable to nail you. Here's the deal, let's call a truce. You ready to call the uniform idea? No. You gonna put my rim back on the basketball goal? No. You gonna fire the business consultant? Nope. Forget it. No. Right. Hit the road, Jack. Hey. And don't come back no more, 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 Jack. Boy, that's two Jacks in that statement. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, I'll have you replaced by the end of the day. Good luck on that. Call your you wife, like call your kids. Of... You ain't getting a paycheck, boys. I'm the boss. What I say goes, no questions asked. I lay down the law. I am the law. You look like the redneck Don Johnson to me. Hit the road, Jack. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> What's wrong? You need Houston, a key? Houston, we have a problem. I really got to put a handle on that door. The walk of shame. Cool inside, suckers. So what do we want? Basketball. Oh, respect. When do we want it? Yesterday. Soon. Hey. We've got some organizational issues. What do we want? Black. We've got a problem with articulation. I am Sabbat. But we're united. Hey, I'm hungry. You dog on right. Yeah. I'll call uh, Jessica and get her up here. They're selling a uh, boudin, I think. Boudin? Yeah. That's my favorite food. I'll yeah. call her and get her up here. I'm actually pretty hungry myself. Call her. All right. That's all we need is freedom and boudin. Hey, babe. Hey, we're uh, up here striking at work. But um, hey, can you bring that uh, boudin up here? A bunch of it. A bunch of it? Yeah, about yeah, all 10 of it? pounds worth. Yeah. OK. All right, Bob. She's coming. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Look here, boys. I'm fixing to sit down in the shade over here till Jessica gets up here with the boudin. Try, we're striking. I am too, till I get some food. <laughs> Willie. Hey. What are you doing? I'm on fire. You can't put all these duck calls together by yourself? I am putting all these duck calls together by myself. I'm not going to let these idiots stop production. That's exactly what they want to happen. Seriously? All I need to do is show them I can build duck calls without them, and they'll come crawling back. <laughs> uh, uh, that's not what it's supposed to sound like. Huh? That's something. Mm, that's not a duck. I'm fine. I am fine as wine. Seriously? Now that there's what they call a redneck chariot. Bring on the boudin. In this case, hot boudin coming through. OK. Look at all them good-looking bearded men yep. right there. Uh-huh. Hold on right in here. That's it. The cavalry has arrived. Hallelujah, boys. It's boudin time. What's all the signs? We all strike. Well, let me tell you what your son implemented. He had a rule book about that thick. He then brought out various uniforms and acted like that I was fixed to put one on. I'm with you on no suits, no uniforms. I'm with you on that. But Daddy will wear my shirt, won't he? <laughs> this is embarrassing. I'm thinking at least my dad will understand where I'm coming from. And then I'll look at him and think, we have a problem. I figured the beard was a dead giveaway that I'm a grown man. Not really. I'm not going to put up with stupidity, and I'm not going to be treated like, like I'm sick. You're acting like kids. I'm going to get Corey, I'm going to get a bowl of boudin, and we're going to settle this now. It'd be best if you listen to your mother. She's giving you good, sound, kind, gentle, motherly advice. Uh, I would take that advice. If he's willing to compromise. No lip. But if you don't take that advice, then you got to deal with me, and I'll tear your butt up. I'm not wearing a uniform. Sick of Miss K. Jill Call. Boys, let me tell you something. Miss K bore all four of those boys of mine. And when I saw them come forth from her loins, the first thing that struck me is a woman's a lot tougher than I thought they were. And the second thing that struck me is my sex life is over as I know it. <laughs> and then I was about to ask where the boot am was. Yeah, yeah, no. Good grief. Hey, Phil's done kill my appetite. You know, I'd probably 
threw my boot in sausage up anyway. Having said that, I salute that, women that's it. worldwide. That, that's it. <laughs> Having said that. I think he's coming. This is stupid. Oh, man. Huh? Huh. Don't make a face. You got mom involved in this now? You better believe it. Let me tell you something. Mom's sweet and everything, but when it comes to us, she will kick us in the... Willie, I've been trying to handle y'all for years. Come on, Willie. Work it out. Well, tell him he's being ridiculous. He's being ridiculous. Ugh. I'm out of here. No, uh, Willie, you're not. You're going to grow up and act like the man you are, and you're going to grow up and act like the man you are. There's got to be some give and take here. Put the basketball goal back up. No slam dunk contest. What? When we have a big order to fill. All right. Don't take four lunch breaks a day. OK. And no rule books. No megaphones. OK. Now, you both say you're sorry. Huh. Yes, you are. And yeah. you are. All right, say it together. Come on, y'all can do this. Do not laugh. I'm sort of sorry. sorry. He said sort of. Yeah, I didn't lose. This doesn't mean I lose. Hey, I ain't saying I'm wrong, but if a basketball hoop can keep me out of the duck call room, it's worth it. Pitiful, but come hey, on. Come on. I, I count. I'm not hugging. I'm yeah, not, you are. Not, you're I coming. Hugging come him. On. I've always made the boys hug in the past, and they always make up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Give me uh, uh, Stop touching me. This is going to set them straight, or I'm going to get the wooden spoon. Stop now, touching don't we me. love each other? Oh, uh, yes, we do. All's well that ends well. He said he's sorry. I said I'm sort of sorry. Sorry, like a sorry turd. Let's see. That's the truth. I'm sick of making duck calls. And Jace, that megaphone is annoying. But I love the megaphone. Running the Robertson family business is all about give and take. I give them a few duck calls to make, and I take a lot of crap for it. Folks, let's bow. Father, we thank you for another good day. Thank you for the food you bless us with. I pray, Father, that you help us be patient, especially with each other. Amen. 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 But as with all families, there will always be protests and demands, like, let me dress like a hobo and give me my sandwich. When push comes to shove, we usually find a way to reach an agreement. Otherwise, Miss K will slap you right upside your face. Willie, pass me some more boudin. Mom, tell him we weren't doing that anymore. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs>